Hey, oh my Planicos and friends, Xelixor here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. In today's episode, we're checking out Johnstown, created by Voodoo Chilla, and here they say... Hey, oh, 300 years ago, the nuclear war killed almost all humans and turned them into zombies, leaving the surface of the Earth a hot wasteland. But beneath the surface, there are still few survivors trying to keep civilization and modern nature alive. If you turn left after the entrance, the main ride will take you back to the apocalypse and into the present. This is my first park. I hope you like it. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what the apocalypse did to humankind. Stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, welcome back everybody. We are at the entrance of John's town. Look at this creation. Uh, but before we uh, dive in, I just wanted to say that uh, Johnny requested my help with uh, recording some of the videos. So that's why you hear my voice instead of Johnny at this moment. I'm probably going to do I don't know, a dozen episodes or something. So um, just so you know, and I'm going to try to get some guests on for the episode. So I'm doing this one solo, but for the next I hope to have some other moderators on. So let's dive into Johnstown, a very cool entrance, if I uh, have to be honest here. It's very nicely done. And also below here we've got a little bit of a garden, but we're not going to check that out right now. So let's get into this place. Very interesting uh, concept right away from the get-go. This town created after the apocalypse. I like the light falling into this cave. Get some water below here. Look at that, all the buildings on top. And turn left, he said, after the entrance for the main ride. So maybe let's skip that for now and we'll do that later on. When we've seen a little bit more of the uh, submission here. Uh, some crates being loaded up. What's going on here? <laughs> Just houses everywhere, little villages. <laughs> the survivors of the apocalypse are uh, living here, I guess. It's not too bad, it seems. For, uh, you know, the outside world, everything is turned to into a zombie, so... It's not too bad living here, I guess. Uh, let's go. I like the uh, funky uh, roofs here. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? So, another little square. There's some lighting everywhere, some blues. Ooh, anything down below here? This little cave. Okay, let's see. Do we go left or... Let's go to the left. Why not? That looked interesting on the right as well. Okay, cool. Lighting changes a bit. Get some more houses. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Is it the entrance to a right? What's going on here? Oh, there's a toilet. It's not uh, very themed. But let's hop out here. But no wonder it's busy. Everyone's going to the toilet. I like what you did with the... Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I love these <laughs> butterflies from TMTK. Oh, you got pea fowls. <laughs> wow. But look at that tree, though. That's amazing. It reminds me of some movie. I don't know where the tree turned into butterflies. If you remember, put it in the comments down below. But really nicely done. Oh, we've got a shop here. Okay, perfect. And that's skinned. Very nicely done. I like this area. I like what you did with the uh, bushes and flowers and trees. It seems really nice. So let's. Uh, what is this here? I've got another building. It's all overgrown. And what is in here? So, oh, it's really like going everywhere. Ah, oh, there's another. Wow. It's another skin flat right. And here was the, uh, the queue. Where is that coming from then? Ah, oh, okay, all the way around. Let's have a look at this first. I mean, it's all on the ground, so it's a little bit confusing, of course, because you can't see it top down, uh, you know, off the park. So that's why I'm just trying to find my way 
around all of it. Uh, let's have a look here. Beautifully done, I have to say. I like all the overgrown bits, but also, you know, look at this. Some viewing points all around. Nicely done here with the uh, house integrated. And then you get into this magical... Magical forest, almost. Very nice with the butter butterflies again. Yeah, very uh, interesting uh, concept that you went uh, with the, your Voodoo Chile. I like it. I like the uh, ride itself. There is also skin with all the purple, pinkish, bluish flowers. It's really relaxing in here. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. It's the bathroom uh, tiles or something. Very nice. Look at that. He's shooting off into <laughs> into the heavens. <laughs> very cool, look at that. Okay. Very cool. Uh, that's the exit. So I just wanna quickly Oh I like the statues as well. That one's really nice. So let's have a look at this queue line and where it's coming from because I'm really confused as to where it started. I think Ah, okay, it's going up here. Okay, yeah, 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 now we see. Okay. And then there's something to the left here as well. And what is this? Now there's... Is this the exit to the right? It must be, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's hop over here. Some security. What is this? So many scenery changes, wow. So we've got another shop here, Chief Beef. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's going on here? Is it the uh, burger making <laughs> station? Fresh burgers. Oh, that's cool. Playing music on top of there. <laughs> that's some funny animatronic. Oh, but you got rats though. Hmm. Not so sure about that. Oh, wow. Our oh no, we're getting zombie burgers? Oh, that's so cool. You can see that they just get punched into the grinder. They can grind it up, then they get grilled. And then they get moved into the burger shop. No. Ew, I don't want to eat zombie burgers though. But it's a really cool <laughs> skin shop. Wow. What have we got here? These animatronics are fun. I don't know who made these, but they're really good. Got a little uh, people up here as well. And then we've got a uh, Street Fox coffee and a gulpy shop. It's almost a bit like a saloon. Everyone's just hanging out. That's fun. <laughs> Pirate there. Very nicely done. What have we got here? So this is leading up. Um, let's just have a look here. Okay, so this was the uh, entrance. And we're going to main right in a bit. But there was something in the back here that I want to check out. Wow. Okay. Some uh, religious culty feeling I'm getting here with all the torches and people <laughs> in white robes. And we've got another skin flat ride. Oh, it's like on a chandelier. That's very nicely done. Let's have a look at this. Look at that. That's really cool. It's such a... It's an interesting concept because it's a mix of a lot of things. You know, you get some western touches. Then you've got this gold thing. A carousel. Uh, like a pink purple carousel on a giant chandelier it's uh, for sure an interesting combination of a lot of stuff here today all in this cave got some more stuff over here yeah it's very green it's i mean i wouldn't mind staying here with in the apocalypse though anything up there is this the uh religious leader of <laughs> of the survivors 
I guess so. I mean, they're all uh, bowing down to you. That's of course another thing that will happen in the apocalypse. Someone will take over and you know, you might end up with some <laughs> weird things going on. Uh, okay, let's uh, go to the main attraction. Also, uh, Voodoo Chile asked not to show the like the overall view of the park because it's encased uh, to the escape. And I think he, wa he or she wanted to, uh, you know, keep it a bit of secret for the ride. So that's uh, why I didn't show you a uh, top-down view yet of the park. So let's just go to the main ride and then we can check it out. So this is the escape. Let's have a look, John Brown's Escape, and it's a uh, interactive shooting ride, quick draw, and here are the results. So, uh, yeah, I guess, oh, I cannot test it. There we go. Let's do this. And they said it was going to take us back to the apocalypse, so I hope um, my uh, aim is on today. Let's figure out <laughs> if it is. Hmm. I like the uh, terraforming that you did there. What have we got here? Once waiting, just a normal day. Cars. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? No. My aim. This is funky looking. So, what? Do I have time until, like, atomic bomb murders us all? What? Come on, guys. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Vurichilla? The bomb is coming. Oh, wow. Really nicely done. The heartbeats. Like the filter change. Oh wow. That's creepy though. Oh, I can shit her. Oh, they're all zombies. Everyone turn into a zombie. No! Oh, crocodiles are eating him. That's good. Get away, zombies. No. Stay away. No! No! <laughs> oh! Gotcha. 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 Boom. Walking Dead's got nothing on me, guys. There we go. Boom. Come on. Combo broken. No. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> really nicely on though. You can really get the feeling that they're trying to get you. Oh, some arms sticking out there. Diving into the sewers. Get away. No. Get away, zombie. Very dark in here. I don't know how this is gonna translate to the video though, guys. Okay, we get some light. Ooh, nicely done. I like the feeling in this uh, sewer. Really well done. It's not easy to make really good looking sewers, but this is great. And this might sound a bit weird on the uh, 
park contest, but, uh, you know, make sure you hop into the extra coaster contest as well, because it seems you know what you're doing with your triggers and stuff. So. Oh, come on, I go way too fast. Oh! Ah, oh, there we go. Are we back to normal? No! They're here as well! <laughs> People run! Oh no! Everyone turned into a zombie! Oh wow! That was cool! Oh, so you shot off the, uh, the village where everyone is staying. And we are back. Well done. I mean, this was a really fun ride. Of course, you know, we asked for a coaster or a ride. And of course, this uh, counts as a ride. And it was a very good one at that, I have to say. Really nicely done, Voodoo Chile. So I think we've seen everything in this park now. I, I really love that ride, by the way. It was really fun. Uh, what did you guys think? Leave your uh, comments down below. Oh, maybe I should go through the exit. All right, this is the exit. Okay. Yeah, leave your comments down below what you thought of this ride. I think it was awesome. So uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's just have a, a last view of the park. Actually, we can now take a bird's eye view. There we go. So that's why they said, you know, don't don't show this because, you know, it's, it's just weird and it doesn't really make sense when you check it out uh, from here. But then, of course, when we were on the ride, th then all the craziness started. There we go. There the uh, explosion is going off again. Good some kind of atomic bomb. Really nicely done. That's a lot of triggers as well. Look at that. All going off there at the same time. Very nicely done. Um... Yeah, so ha let's have a look here. So the entrance, I think it's amazingly done. Then we've got the entrance here, this little village. I think your um, your ride skins were done really well. I mean, it's, of course, a really weird theme. It's almost a bit more fantasy than uh, anything, but I think it was a really fun concept, what you did here. And then the, you know, the, the butterfly tree. All these small touches, but and it's all for you know a uh, sugary emporium shop. But the idea is just really fun, and uh, if this was the apocalypse, I wouldn't really mind staying in this place. And of course, we shouldn't forget about this flat right. I think you have really interesting and super creative uh, design concepts when you build this, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So, guys. What did you think of this park? Leave your comments down below for Voodoo Chili. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.